Good day, YouTubers. I am Ragamuffin. Today, I am going to change the belt on this Craftsman riding lawnmower. It's an LT1000, apparently. If that means anything to anybody. Um, here is the serial number, if that matters to anybody. But, as you can see, my belt has come flying off quite dramatically, I must say, when it happened. Under here, the V-belt has completely kind of come out. <laughs> it's split up here. I don't know if you can see that. Let me get on the other side. better light here. You can see the V-belt has come out of the back so it just kind of peeled itself off and I think what happened was I because I have a tendency to when I'm driving here's the mower belt on I have a tendency to just kind of drop it out and let it fall probably not the best idea so stay tuned on this particular mower there is a belt routing diagram right on the side of the deck here it goes from the front to the left side and those um, tension pulleys around to the uh, blades themselves and then back to the front and that's just right on the side here, so if yours doesn't have one, good luck. <laughs> I don't know how well you can see this, but there's the uh, drive pulley for the mower blades. And way up in there is the pulley for the transmission. And I changed that one recently. Sorry I didn't make a video of it, but it was a pain in the butt because it's just really far up in there and in the back here let's see if you can see it sorry about the movement so in the back there's a bigger pulley and routing that is a pain um, the way this works is there are retention clips it's hard to show you back there. There are retention clips. That metal bar right there that hold these belts in place. Uh, basically, if there is going to be any movement, any looseness, that bar will stop it, usually. Um, so, these belts are wrapped around this and there's a tight squeeze in here to get these belts off and that's how it's held in those clips so there's one there this is all come off back here there's another one here that one's a little bit different it's just a flat folded piece of metal and you pry it out of the way to get that one out but since this belt is completely flat it's not any trouble getting it off back in there springs in the way Here's the other side. The belt goes in there, gets held in by this bar here. And that's loose. So that's off. But on the drive belt, these big bars are what hold it hold the belt in the V's 
if there's any slack. And it's you notice here there's a small gap and it's hard to pinch the belt in there. You kind of have to pry these out of the way. I mean, it's not hard, but anyway, you have to you have to pinch them in there to get them around the pulleys. So, I'm off to get a new belt. So here's my belt. As you can see, it's pretty big, uh, but it's got this V part completely ripped out of it. And by the way it looks, <clears throat> it's turned inside out right now, but it goes from inside out to right side in, down here, and then back out. So it seems like to me this got pinched somewhere, probably right here because there's a big nick in it. Or over here, because there's another big nick in it. And, uh, <clears throat> must have gotten pinched and turned inside out and just ripped itself to bits. It doesn't seem like it's in bad shape, really. Um, I'm out of focus here. It doesn't seem like it's out in that bad of shape, but I don't know. I think my bad habit of just letting it drop out of gear is, uh, did it. Learn things the hard way. For the record, if this happened to be the drive belt, there's a possibility that it would still work. Um, sort of. <laughs> I mean, if you were stuck somewhere and you didn't want to push it, you might be able to route it back on there and uh, and get it to move a little bit I wouldn't I would go slow slowest setting possible lowest gear and uh, that way you don't put too much torque on this belt you might be able to get somewhere with it but you know if you do good luck or good luck if you try so it's always a good idea um, whenever you do this sort of thing to keep your old receipts and numbers and such for the belts because <clears throat> not every place that you go to is going to have a belt that's this big um, for instance car places aren't, aren't normally going to have big belts usually they have small belts for you know that's a generator on a air-cooled Volkswagen engine there. This is a uh, old tiller here. It's got another small belt. But they don't normally have those, <clears throat> which I need to change the pull cord. But they don't have normally have these big ones, and uh, a lot of times you have to look up the belt by the serial number. That's why I showed you that. Um, so this one I bought 528.13. Oh. <clears throat> bought this one 528.13 and uh, changed it so uh, that was the drive belt though unfortunately I don't know the number for the mower belt <clears throat> so I'll have to do that but next time I'll know I happened to get that belt from a hardware store uh, a small hardware store not a big box one um, they will probably have it because they have all the lawn and tractor stuff normally um, but I, I happen to get mine from a local place I like to shop local support local businesses so I'm off to get a belt stay tuned okay alright there's our belt um, this one happens to be white I don't, I don't know why it doesn't really matter but um, I had to go to two stores to find it first store that I called ahead said they had it Got there, didn't have it, I guess. I don't know. Kind of made me mad. So I had to go to a big box store. <clears throat> and it uh, took me a while to find it there. And then uh, wasn't even sure if it was the right one. Got it back, measured it against the old belt. Seems all right. So we're going to put it on. Our uh, deck setting is all the way down. I'm not going to take the deck off to do this. Uh, it's going to be a little bit trickier but 
Um, it's worth not taking all that off. It's just a hassle. So I'm going to do this step by step and film in between. So stay tuned. All right, so I pinched that belt into there. <laughs> and you can see it's held in by that bar going straight back in between these two pulleys. Oops, excuse me. In between these two pulleys and going straight back. There's a, another one of those retention bars right there. That goes there. Another one on the other side. See how that bends out of the way? That's good. And this side over here. That pinches in there, around that clip, into there. Here's our idler uh, idler pulley here. Basically, this moves whenever you pull the lever up top, so it's that's idle, and that when you pull the thing up it engages it over there so this side's done go to the other side you can see on this side uh, you can see the point of that bar over there because this side is uh, hanging off but I'm not really worried about that I want to get it on over here first this goes this goes over here, over this pulley. You have to pinch this one in here because there's a cover on this one. I'm going to have to use two hands. That bar that's moving right there, you're not going to be able to see the other side, but behind this guard, that's the guard that covers the belt, there is another retention and that one's on a spring. You can see it right here. And basically, that is open, that's closed. It uh, does two things it stops the blades from spinning after you disengage the, uh, the blades whenever they're idling. That will that spring will push down on this bar over here on this uh, pulley, I mean, and slow down the spinning blades so it'll stop. Um, there's one on both sides. Let me see if I can get the other one in there. Basically, way back over in here, hard to see that does the same thing on the other side and it'll move so you have to push those out of the way to get the belt in but basically that's it um, you don't have to take the deck off some people take the deck off but you just follow the diagram and uh, it's pretty simple here's that spring that I was talking about over there I didn't take a good picture of it earlier, but basically it moves out. Whenever you engage the blades, that moves out. Here, I'll do it up here. Nice and tight. That pushes that out of the way, <clears throat> and that allows the belt to be nice and tight. I was about to be nice and tight, and this allows the thing to spin there, the blades to spin, and then whenever you take this out of gear, 
that is supposed to stop it. Oh, I have something wrong. I missed. Let's see if you can see it. That belt is away from the pulley over here. Looks like I'm outside one of those springs. Let me see if I can get it in there. All right, what I did there is this spring right here was, I put I put the belt in there. I, I saw one spring, but I didn't see the other one, and it's back over here. Let's see if you can see that right there. And there's the there's the belt there, and this spring I, I didn't see, so I got that on there now. And let's see if it'll work. All right, chokes on, a little bit of throttle. Go ahead and start this up. Oh, brake. seem to be working fine. Everything looks good. Belt is loose. Nothing's binding. That's it. We're done. Hope this helps. Um, pretty simple job. I know it can seem daunting, but uh, it's really not that bad. So good luck.